Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Japa with the Adays once again. And my name is Bimbo. For those of you who are just meeting me for the first time, Japa with the Adays is a channel where you can get relevant or important information. Or now you can Japa to Portugal or relocate to Austria or other beautiful European countries where we believe that you will be able to have beautiful relocation or Japa experience and today i have brought another important opportunities to all of you lovers of to all of you lovers of austria now i have I've had you know many people ask me that they want to jack back to portugal sorry they want to jack back to austria uh, on a bsc um student visa and then and even portugal on this bsc student visa first let me quickly mention that uh, in portugal it is a little different it is a little difficult to be able to get uh, uh bsc or to be able to come in with a bsc student visa that is because uh the uh 99.9 percent .9 of courses that are taught in uh, or dig of, of degree courses are taught in portuguese and that makes it very difficult for most of those schools to give you admission if they can see that your background does not you don't have any background that relates to you having the understanding and knowledge of portuguese so However, very few of them offer foundational courses. Very, very few of them offer foundational courses. What is foundational courses? A foundational course is a course that uh, uh, they give you admission. Say if the admission is for four years, they give you admission and they say that uh, you come in and uh, learn the language for one year. And after one year, if they see that you pass the foundational course, then you move to start or commence your degree pro program squarely. So, you know, very few of them offer that. I've not really dealt with private school because private schools are very expensive and nobody are really um not everybody are really interested in that so i can speak categorically that uh, in portugal private schools some private school offer uh degree programs and they teach them in english i can't speak that but today i'm only going to talk about austria now opportunities in austria are enormous in terms of uh, for those who have, have i have had i've had a video about uh, msc and phd program i've dealt lengthy on that regard but for today i want to talk about bsc and that's as a result of my uh, recent findings and then uh, you know because I, I i don't bring information your way that i, I believe it will not be relevant to your jackpot plans i bring information based on fact and figures and based on experience of people that are very close to me and very daring to me so that's how i research my information so i bring you facts so you can now move to austria on a bsc student visa that means there are many courses in austria that are taught in english for instance university of klagenfurt have opened their admission on the 8th of january up until uh, 19th of february and they have many courses that are taught in english university of klagenfurt university of leoben university of Graz, university of innsbruck and a host of all of these schools have opened applications because they believe that uh, international applicant will have to uh, uh, get the admission early and they have a lot of documentations to be able to pass through before they get visas or residence permit to come into their country so uh, uh so each of these schools, they have English core English courses that are taught in English. So, which means you can go to, you can get uh, uh, admissions for uh, BSc in any of your choosing uh, courses. And even if the courses that you want to uh, learn or you want to study in English are not taught in English, you can you know apply for their foundational course. And which what that means is that you go into the country, you learn Dutch that they speak there, and after learning the Dutch um, 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 language, then you can you know integrate into the system and start learning. That of course, if you are interested in in, in doing a foundational course, but of course, I, I think it's a very beautiful beautiful experience because a lot of people want to learn other language, and it's an opportunity for you to jack bar. You know, while you're while you're studying the language, you can be you know working intermittently and you can also go with your family to austria now if you have a a a, a uh, what is the word if you have enough proof of evidence enough enough financial proof rather enough a sufficient proof of finance in your account you can go with your family your wife your children you can you guys can have a very beautiful life and experience in austria so that is that is the information and the standard of living in austria 
are very, very affordable, very cheap. You can enjoy your life, you know, shared apartment there is within 250 to 300 euro with all expenses. And, you know, depending on the city where your university is, uh, is anyway, but um, the school fees is 720, uh, 720 euro per semester, which means in a session, your budget should be around 1,500 euros. And you can pay this money instrumentally depending on the financial, uh, depending on the bargain that you you uh, you enter into with the finance department of your school. So, and then these are all the minimum wage is about 1,500 euros. So, which means if you, if you, if you go into the country, the, the minimum amount of money that you can get paid by your employer is 1,500 euros. So, and after getting your, don't forget, you don't need to verify your document or uh, legalize your document before applying for admission in both Austria and Portugal. I keep saying this. It is very important. People keep asking it. You don't need to verify your document or legalize them before you use this document to apply for admission in Austria and in Portugal. It is very important that you know this. So, uh, and then another thing is that... Um, when you now have your admission, there are some very lengthy procedure that you have to pass through to be able to authorize your document, legalize it and verify it. It's very lengthy. And in my next video, that is what I'm going to be talking about squarely, how you will verify your document and legalize them at the, uh, uh, um, Abu, uh, at the Austria Embassy in Abuja. That is the next video that I'm going to do and I'm going to be talking about. It is very important. So that is why you have to start getting your admission on time because it takes minimum of three months for you to get your document verified by the law firm that the Austrian embassy used. So it's very important that you start on time. If you want to be in Austria by September or October, which is the uh, academic resumption, the general academic resumption time. And the school fees, like I said, it's across BSc, MSc and PhD program. Regardless of the degree that you want to go for, the school fees has been um, regulated across all programs and all degrees that you are, so it's 720 euros per semester for bsc msc or phd and of course it it makes life very affordable when you even have opportunity to pay it in instrumentally which means as you're working you can be paying this and when you're giving a course because they believe that not all um uh, international applicants that are coming in will probably have one or two activities that they are doing which means they will be engaging in some professional activities to be able to pay their fees so which means every semester you can tell your uh, universities that uh, you can be you want to be doing uh, three courses or four courses per semester in order to of course to buy time to be able to stay in the country legally and to all, always have reasons to renew your residence permit so you don't need to do 10 courses per semester like the nigerian universities or african universities does they say oh per semester you must compulsorily take these 10 courses no in there, you can choose the courses that you feel you'll be comfortable with and you will be able to study and pass. Yes. So don't forget, look forward to uh, uh, a video or now you can uh, uh, legalize, authorize or verify your document at the ministry, sorry, at the uh, Austrian embassy in Abuja. And this is the opportunity that I brought your way again. It is very, very important to me that you like, subscribe to our channel, follow us on our TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook channel so that by the time we drop this information, you will be the first to get notifications on your phone. Thank you very much once again. Bye-bye. Love you all. Thank you.